I'm Mary Rich Brown, I'm the writer. And she's a very good writer. Um, I'm Mitchell Butel and I'm the director. I'm Kate Chiu and I'm playing Matilda. Uh, I'm Josh Kwongta and I play Gabriel. Unrequited love brings out the best and worst behaviour in people. Um, and so it's kind of about that Herculean journey of, of the heart when your love isn't requited. requited. Um, it's also about addiction and every character in the play is addicted to the idea of someone or something. Versions of love and what it is to love and what it is to be loved and also the concept of love. Yeah. People's versions of love and, and maybe even loss as well. Yeah. Loss is a bit of a thing but it's not a downer. It's about all those things but, but at crisis moments too. It's, it's not a kind of a vanilla kind of unrequited love. People are in crisis pretty much in every scene, which I think is dramatically interesting and comically interesting as well. It's gritty and it's raw and it's very exposing and it's because of the history, there's, they're not very polite to each other. And I think that's, that's fun to yeah. get to play. And good for an audience as well, I think. It's, it, it's, I think it's gonna be a bit of a treat for the audience because there is some stuff in there to one, mm -hmm. I hate the word unpack, but unpack. I've been a, such a fan of Mary's work for, for many years. The Dapto Chaser blew my mind when I saw that. I was like, had one of those program moments, like Who's, who, who wrote this? What, what is this play? Uh, I mean, so smart, so funny, but so characters who feel incredibly real as well. And, and similarly in this play, I mean, the dialogue is so good and, and kind of crackling and smart and funny, but to me, it sounds like life or kind of life extended like life where people are very smart and <laughs> very articulate and know what they want and and have interesting ways in going about it rehearsing it there are so many moments you're like oh, mm. i've had this conversation i know this moment very close to home a lot of the time addiction is is if you boil it down it's about your relation your relationship with yourself um and i think everyone at some time in life has had a difficult relationship with themselves and how they deal with that, whether it's jogging or yoga or amphetamines or religion um, or, you know, I've known people that have done all, all of those in combination at the same time. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's, it's it, at its essence, it's, it's about relationship with self. So I think anyone who's had any kind of demon that they've wrestled with will, will get something out of the play. Three words. Mm, love. There we go, I've done that. Love. Oh, three words between us. Yeah, can we do it together? Okay, okay. <laughs> love. Um, loss. And something else. Love, loss, and... Electric, funny, shocking. Survival. Mm. And cats. And cats. Bold and heart-driven. <laughs>